At last, after almost a decade of promises, the Ngok Dinka of Abia have had their say. In a referendum, 99.9% .9 of them rejected Sudan and voted in favour of joining South Sudan. The Ngok Dinka have always wanted to join the South. This wasn't so much a referendum as a statement of collective political intent. This is the decision of the ordinary people. That's why they're so happy. But what they've done is also based on agreements signed between North and South as well as the international community. So this was all perfectly legitimate. In a traditional gesture of thanks, the community slaughtered a white bull. But it was aimed at themselves. No government, no international agency recognises the result. This was a unilateral vote organised by the community itself. They rejected arguments from Khartoum that the nomadic Miseria, who also claim this land, should also take part. It is the will of the people, so we don't care if the governments in Khartoum or Juba accept it. We are suffering. We have lost our children and our husbands. We have come back to this land to determine our future. It is our own will. This is my homeland, so if the North comes to attack, I'm ready to sacrifice my life. Nobody's doubting the significance of this day for the Ngok Dinka, but it is a moral victory. In practical terms, it changes nothing. It has no legal weight. This is a stage in the process, not an end in itself. The party continues, but once the dust settles, the Ngok Dinka leaders will have to convince the world that this referendum is a historic turning point and not just a gesture. Peter Grester, Al Jazeera, Abiyah.